Good afternoon again. This is Rail Artist, also known as Mike. Today I thought I would show you how I make telephone poles. Very simple, very easy. It's always fun to do. You, ne you never have enough of them. Besides, these are going into my Monongahela Power Company pole yard along with anything else that might need in a supply depot for the power company. Now what I use is the standard everyday run-of-the-mill skewers made out of bamboo. They're about a foot long, maybe a little longer. Nah, about a foot long. And I cut them off to various lengths. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've got one here that is 40 foot scale feet in HO and then I go with my little nippers and cut it. Now these, the rest of them, sorry about that, I'm still not used to this stuff going right when I want to go left. Um, these I save. They make fantastic background fir trees, pine trees later on in life. Um, always save. Of course, I'm you know me. If you followed me at all, I'm a tight wad, so you know I save practically everything. Once I get it cut off, I take quite a rough. Uh, this is a framer's file, framer's board, and I put a bevel into it just by filing it down. That's to keep the elements, snow, rain, whatever, from permeating the top. It falls off instead of sits sitting right on top of it. Now, I weather up always using pastel. The noise you're hearing is my puppy, well, I should say my wife's puppy, going crazy. Um, we have hardwood floors and he needs a toenail clipped. I use shaved down pastels in my weathering. I use black. I use raw umber and a little lighter in case it gets too dark, just a little bit lighter brown, pure brown. I also use a little bit of rust once they're in place just because I can. And like I say, I take it, I use standard exacto, number 11 blade, and just scrape some powder off of it. It's cheaper this way. Trust me. Now this does get messy, so that's okay. We're using just those three colors. You can use whatever colors you want. Scrape them off. Take my um, pseudo skewer here and just start putting this stuff on randomly. I put down black and then I cover it with a little bit of the raw umber. The black goes into the crevices. That's one thing. I use bamboo, not wood. I use the bamboo skewers because they have a nice texture to them all up and down. Um, wood is okay to use if you want to, but what this does, it gives it a little bit of texture. The black comes through a little bit stronger in places. Creosote is black, essentially. I mean, this is just very, very simple to do. Uh, it doesn't take long to do. It's messy and that's one of the reasons I love it. Being an artist, 
I love to get dirty with my pigments. I mean, have some fun, people. That's all I do. I use a brush that is old, splayed out, doesn't work for crap on paints because it's just too thick, but it's great for getting the um, pigments, the powders, down into the grooves or whatever you want to call it. Because bamboo, it is a grass. It's not solid. It's got varying textures. Then I usually get them all. See, now these are not going to be put into scenery. These are going to be left on racks over at my pole yard and supply depot. Now, down at the bottom, get them a little bit thicker with the black, a little bit heavier on the black there's going to be more creosote down there because I mean you got to remember they are essentially planted in the ground not to grow but to go in about 10 feet into the ground just to give it some work and that's what you come up with this is what it begins like so you can see there is quite a difference to it and they're gonna look good yeah and then I just put these on a rack, may fasten them down, I may not, but they're going to look halfway decent. And in doing it this way, I can see I forgot to put creosote there. Always do the ends, because you're going to see them. And you just keep sitting here. I've got um, YouTube going with uh, trains on it, so if you hear a train coming through, no, sad to say there's nothing really live here in this town that is close by. Used to be, when I lived at the studio, I was about three blocks away from the upper yard here in Parkersburg, and that's what I model, is the upper yard, so I'm very familiar with it. But this is just, and then He's got this stuff down here, do it over a piece of um, foam core board that I've cut to size to fit on my messy desk. You can't see the rest of the desk and probably never will. This just, I use, I save. I use this stuff when it's done all the time for putting weathering on my dark gray um, rooftops. Now, this is the only time that I use black. It's the only time that the black pigment comes out of the tube for oil. I never use it because in oil paints, it's flat. It's boring. It's a dead color. So I usually use a Payne's Gray in painting. Payne's Gray, something like that. Payne's Gray is ultramarine blue and raw umber mixed by the companies and it's a beautiful color. You got that, turn it over. First thing I do when I turn it over most of the time is do the ends. And that's just about it. It's I make ten at a time, give some away to people who need them, who don't have the time, the energy, the desire to get all grubby dirty. And nice thing about these bamboo sticks is they're not uniform with each other. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. Some of them got pieces missing. 
that adds texture to what you're doing. Oop, there's a spot right there. And as you can see, it doesn't take long and you come up with a fairly good facsimile. Sorry about the jumping around. Eventually I'll get used to where my hand is supposed to be. And that is just about it for today. Um, I may be back and do some more later on. But other than that, you guys have a great day. Have a great week. Enjoy life. Stay safe.